Let me say this, man. A lot of people that are now subscribing to me and people that are picking up my channel. Let me tell you the kind of cat I am. I don't give a damn what you think or how you feel or whatever. Okay? I'm about one thing about this word and what this word say. I'm a fighter for the word of the Most High and His Son Christ. Okay? And this book shows that the nation of Israel, the sons of God, the 12 tribes is going back into the kingdom of heaven. Now, let's validate that. Let's validate that. Let's validate that with scriptures. Not how you feel, not your philosophy, not because you're Chinese and you believe in God. That's not what the Bible is talking about. Okay, let's go in the book of Acts, the first chapter, and let's see what it says in the first verse. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus, of all that the Savior began to do and teach until the day that he was taken up. After that, he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. The apostles is Israelites of the tribes, black men, okay? Let's be clear. They're not Chinese. They're not mixed. They're not uh, Asian and all this madness y'all be talking about. They're not Roman Catholic. They're Israelites, okay? The writers of the scriptures are Israelites. Let me clear that up. Of the 12 tribes, Okay, Genesis to Revelation. To whom also he showed himself alive through his passion by his many infallible proofs, being spoke seen of them 40 days, and speaking of things pertaining, pertaining to the kingdom of the Lord. And being assembled together with them, listen well to what he's gonna, they're going to ask him. Commanded them that they depart not from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, said he, which ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. And when they were therefore come together, listen to this well. All you that think through your mad philosophies, Christian and all that, your Roman Catholic doctrines, your Jehovah Witness doctrines, which are not in the Bible, your Episcopal doctrines, your Methodist doctrines, your pagan doctrines, your antichrist doctrines. Listen to what the disciples asked them. Did, did, did they ask them for unity? They said, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? You know who is Israel? You know who is Israel? You know who is Israel? It's 12 tribes, and they're going to rule because the Lord says so. The Lord, the, 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 the Most High, he says that they're going to rule. Now, let's validate that. Let's validate that and show you that. Let's go into the book of Isaiah now. Let's go into the book of Isaiah. You want to see why a change is going to come? A lot of you are listening to false doctrines out here. That's what I said. A lot of you are listening to false doctrines. Geno Jennings, T.D. Jakes, your lying pastors. This is the prophecy of Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord is upon him because the Lord has appointed him to preach good tidings unto the meek. Who is the meek? Precept, the meek is Israel. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the crap, to the captives. We were captives. Okay, we were put in chains, not Christians. We were brought here in chains. And to open the prison, where are we in prison in America to them that are bound? Because now we bound in our minds with the darkness and the lies. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they, the Israelites, might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he, the Lord, might be glorified. Wait, it's going to show you. And they shall build the old waste. So we're going to take back the land and it's going to be rebuilt. And they shall raise up the former desolations 
and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And what about the strangers? All you people that perceive that you can lie and steal your way into the kingdom, he says, and the strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. Yeah, you Ethiopians, you're going to stand and feed our flocks. Lying, talking about you, the chosen people of God. All you, all you so-called Edomites and stuff, uh, Cohen, Edomites and all that, Amalek, Amalek, all of that, you're going to stand and feed our flocks, just like we fed your flocks. And the sons of aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. You're going to be out there, all you nations. You're going to be out there in the hot sun working, man. We're going to work you like a dog. We're going to work you like a dog, like a horse that you are, okay? And you shall be named the priests of the Lord. The nation of Israel shall be named priests of the Lord. How do we know that? Just go to Exodus 19, verse 5 and 6. Let's go to that right quick. Let's go to that right quick. Exodus 19, verse 5 and 6. Why? Because this is fulfilling of destiny. Exodus 19, verse 5 and 6. Now, therefore, if you will keep my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. You shall be above all people. This is the Lord saying that the nation of Israel shall be above all the other nations. It doesn't talk about no philosophy, no Christian and all that madness that y'all cats be on here talking about. Okay. And you, the nation of Israel, shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. That's what we was created for. A kingdom of priests. This is Bible fact. Let's go back into Isaiah. But Isaiah 61 verse 6. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Ain't nobody supposed to be breaking this book down. But priests of the Lord of the nation of Israel. Of the tribes of Israel. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. And you shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. All you Gentiles, everything that you have, we're going to take from you. Everything that you have, we're going to take from you. All your riches, your gold, your wealth, your diamonds, run. Because that day is coming, baby. That day is coming. And in their glory, we shall boast ourselves. Because the Lord is going to push us to the top. For our shame, you shall have double. We shall receive double the glory. And for confusion, we shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. So in everlasting, look what it says. Everlasting joy shall be unto us. It didn't say unto everybody else. When we make the kingdom, everlasting joy, man. It don't say nothing about no lying Roman Catholicism doctrines on there, man. You're a bunch of liars and thieves. Hear me well what I'm saying to you. All you Roman Catholics, Protestant, Methodists, Jehovah Witness, Ethiopians, Falashas, Rastafarians, all that, Buddhists, Taoists, you're a bunch of liars, man. You're a bunch of liars taking our book and twisting it up. He ain't teaching the truth. Okay? So the Lord said, everlasting joy shall be unto us. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will direct their twerk in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed, what is our seed? Children. Our kids shall be known among the Gentiles and nations, and their offspring among the people, and all shall see them, shall acknowledge them. They're going to acknowledge you, Israelites, that you are the seed which the Lord have blessed. See that? That's what's coming, man. Crystal clear, that's what's coming. This is the change that's going to come. Forget these lying doctrines, these dogs that are out here biting at your heels. Biting at your heels saying, nah, that's not what the Bible is saying. Okay? I'm going to give you one more part in Isaiah. I'm going to give you one more part in Isaiah. Right? Right? Let's go to Isaiah.
Isaiah 65, verse 17. It says, for behold, I create new heavens and new earth. So he's taking down this world system, death and destruction, man. And the former will not be remembered nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice for ever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. We ain't going to cry no more. We ain't going to cry no more. Check this out. There shall be no more than an infant of days, nor an old man that have not filled his days. For the child shall die an hundred years old. But the sinner being an hundred years old shall be accursed. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. They shall not build and another inhabit. See that? You have stolen our land. You have stolen our land and you inhabit our land. So the Lord said that ain't going to go down no more. All you lying, thieving countries and despots. Okay? They shall not go down no more. And as for the days of a tree, they are the days of my people and mine elect. Wow, that's a time span. For the days of a tree. How old are the days of a tree? Hundreds upon hundreds of years. Okay? So the Lord said, for as the days of a tree are the days of my people, we're going to live long ages. And mine elect shall enjoy the work of their hands. The elect is who? Israel. And they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them. Listen to this. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. The Lord will answer us. Talking about Israel. So all you demons that are on here checking it out. You don't know the scriptures, man. You don't know these prophecies. Okay? You don't know these prophecies. I will answer. And while they're yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together. And the lion shall eat straw and the bullock. And dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. The holy mountain is Israel. So we're not going back to death and destruction, man. We're going back to pure rulership under Christ. Pure rulership under Christ. Okay? So just letting you know, giving you a couple more verses. Right? So... I, want, I really want you to see how this is going down, man. This is Jeremiah 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which covenant did we broke, although I was an husbandman unto them, saith the Lord, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be their people. They shall be my people and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord, for they shall all know me. See that? Change coming, man. From the least of them unto the greatest of them, say the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity. See, our sins are going to be forgiven. And I will remember their, their sin no more. So when this change come, our sins is going to be forgiven. The Lord is going to do that. Peace.